over boil and I'm quitting alcohol. So it's the first day of the year today. Welcome to any new listeners who are here with your fucking bullshit news resolutions. We know how long you're going to last. I should be a little bit more supportive than that, but fucking I just had a dart. I had a New Year's Day dart. I promised myself I wasn't going to fucking smoke any ciggies. I've got the ayahuasca retreat coming up and I don't want to be fucking coming off the darts during that. That's not going to be good for me if I'm withdrawing of fucking tobacco or nicotine as I'm going into a fucking ayahuasca ceremony, is it? So I promised myself no more darts and I've had a few darts today. I just had one before. I was like, I've got to have a pre-podcast dart, don't I? That's how easy it is to slip back into fucking smoking ciggies. Six months ago, if you said to me I would be fucking smashing the darts again, I would have been like, you're insane. But the fucking combination of being overseas, lounging around in El Salvador with the fucking sun blaring and the fucking price of ciggies, it's $4 for a pack of ciggies here. How can you not dart? That's what I want to know. How do you stay away from it? So tomorrow is definitely, definitely my last day of fucking smoking. No, today is my last day of smoking. Tomorrow I'm not smoking. I also had a coffee yesterday as well for the first time in like three and a half, four years. However long it's been, I had a coffee because I can't find a fucking black tea or any type of tea other than fucking chamomile tea in this whole fucking country. So I was like, I need something to get through New Year's. And at about 11.30 last night, I had a fucking coffee. A disappointment it was. El Salvador's meant to have really good coffee, but fucking it was not last night. It tasted like the old shit they used to brew for you in uh, McDonald's. You know, in the like the glass fucking kettle or whatever the fuck it's called. Before everyone knew what coffee was, they used to give it to you in the styrofoam cup and just pour it out of that glass thing. That's what it, it was basically that. It tasted like shit. I wasn't impressed. I was like, well, that was a anticlimax. Or should I say that was an anticlimax. It's always the same when you hype something up like that. You're like, oh, I'm going to have the greatest coffee that's ever existed. And then you have it and it tastes like fucking boot juice. Same thing would probably happen if I started drinking again. I'd be like, this is going to be the greatest night in the history of fucking humanity. I do two shots, I pass out, I fucking call someone a cunt, I get punched in the eye. That's the reality. Anyway, I'm on the darts and the coffees now. I haven't had another coffee. I think I'm done with the coffees. The only reason really why I had the coffee last night is I fucking saw someone on YouTube, someone I follow. He's some cancer doctor. He's like, coffee is great for cancer. Not like it's good, it helps it grow. I mean, like, if you have a coffee a day, it fights cancer. That's pretty much all it took to break my four-year fucking coffee ban. Some dude on Instagram made a 15-second video. Anyway, New Year's Eve, El Tunco last night. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but no one really fucking set the night on fire out there. I think it's because there was a lack of Australians. Like, no one was rowdy, no one was loud, no one seemed to be drunk. Everyone was drinking, but no one was drunk. There was no one obnoxiously yelling shit out. There was no, like, woos! There was, there was nothing. Like, the vibe was good out there, but, like, you want a little bit of fucking action, don't you? You need to throw a few fucking Australians in the mix. Australians really know how to fucking party. You need a few Aussies out there just to cause a fucking scene. (laughs) There was no one causing a scene last night. It was just pleasant. There was a lot of fireworks. They're just selling fireworks on the street here. Anyone can buy them and anyone fucking did buy them. It was chaos at fucking 12 o'clock with the fireworks. It was like bombs were going off. I don't know what they're called, those fucking big ones. But people were letting them off 
really fucking too close to other people and you could feel the fucking shockwave. They weren't even like fireworks. It was just like a bomb. But you had all sorts. You had the fucking Roman candle things. You had the rock. It was full on. Full on fucking fireworks chaos last night. But that was about as extreme as it got. It had all the makings of a wild party night out there, but just fucking something was missing. And I think it really was Australians. Australians were missing. You need at least one big crew of Australians just causing trouble. Either getting into a fight, breaking something, getting chased by the police. You need something. So it's been a real low-key first day of the fucking year. Down in El Tunco, fucking El Salvador. Tomorrow we're going to Bitcoin Beach. El Zonte, we're going to hire some bikes. We're going to fucking, I mean motorbikes, not fucking cycles. Hire some bikes, go for a cruise, go for a little adventure. I'm meant to be planning the rest of the trip in El Salvador because my wife has planned every single thing we've done so far and booked every single room. So it's my turn to take over and I haven't got anything sorted. So I'm looking forward to getting yelled at in the morning. There's only so much you can say you're winging it. Let's just wing it. And I'll be like, let's just wing it like we've done for the whole trip so far. Let's just keep winging it. And she'll be like, we haven't been winging it, all right? You've been winging it. I've been doing everything. And I'll be like, all right, it's the fucking 2nd of January. Do we need to start the year like this? Can't we just fucking get some bikes and just go with the fucking flow? And she'll be like, what the fuck did you do all day then? I'll be like, I fucking watched the Rose Bowl and the Sugar Bowl in Spanish. Two games I've never watched before and they were fucking great. I didn't understand a fucking single word the commentators were saying, but the games were fucking awesome. Anyway, that'll fucking do it for the first day of the year and I'll see you the fuck later.